Hey guys, Ajax22 here. Just uh, got the Rusty 870 project out of the electrolyte bath. Uh, it's second go around. And I've got it here with uh, another one of my CNR 870 projects from way back in the day. I'm going to use this one for uh, known good donor parts uh, when we're fitting components onto this. So I should have everything to see if anything needs additional love, machining, pattern filing, scrubbing. This uh, probably needs another 12 to 24 hours worth of uh, scrubbing before she's going to be happy. The internals, let me show. It's come a long way, um, especially up in the front end. A lot of this scale on the bottom is actually coming off, um, leaving pretty clean metal underneath it. Yeah, it's still a little moist, hard to tell. But the uh, the short the short explanation of its current status is that it's looking good, but it's still dirty. It's not quite clean enough on the internal components for me to be satisfied to start assembling it on you know some of the other prettier components I don't I think it's uh, a little bit too tight in there still a little bit too much scale particularly around this uh, flat spring here it's just it just does not want to focus there we go particularly around the flat spring it's uh, there's some pretty heavy-duty caked on black scale material um, so probably another 24 hours the more I'm looking at it the more I'm convinced it's not going to be 12 because uh, it's going to need at least one more scrubbing with a toothbrush and toothpaste to get that mild abrasive uh, breaking that free the scale I don't know what the scale is made of it almost doesn't seem like it's you know got a primary ox uh, like a, a primarily uh, iron oxide component to it. it it's it's definitely related to the rust but I think it might have some sort of a like a clay or organic material of some kind maybe I don't know it's it's a little weird it's it's somewhat different than so the other stuff that I've been playing with uh, it's coming off too clean like there's there's nothing heavily pitted underneath there's nothing really that would say hey this has been rusting and has flake rust on it so I mean that's that's a good a good thing uh, there's only like some pitting on this mag tube around here and uh, there's probably gonna wind up being some pitting under that scale I can't imagine there wouldn't be um, since it's on the internal I'd also be very I am very tempted to just take a uh, like a shotgun bore brush and check it up in a drill and run it in there but uh, I I usually prefer to avoid any sort of mechanical process for removal beyond a real mild scrubbing with a soft toothbrush uh, it just the temptation to get carried away goes is uh, is very pre ever prevalent in these processes hmm looks like the receiver might be slightly pinched slightly just notice that but yeah we'll uh we'll steal you know use the, use the parts that we've got for this thing that are going to be uh, actually going on it and we don't have from there we'll we'll steal from this other bad boy for now um should go together pretty well. This, the threads here are a little bit munched, just ever so slightly. Um, and the inside of the mag tube, since we're only dipping it to, you know, here, are not getting cleaned. Um, that's going to have to be flipped over and done, or more likely I'll, I'll, that'll just actually have to be a, a mechanical removal process. There's no way around it. All right, guys. Um, yeah, it's it's coming along pretty pretty rapidly. A lot of black flakes of stuff came out of this one, but uh, still got a ways to go. All right.
have a good one guys i'll uh i'll update you in either 12 or 24 hours depending on where we're at with the uh the next round of electrolysis thanks have a good one